agricultural zone. That's good at least. At least we have some good news. Uh, police retaliation. It is going so bad. Human Dignity Bill. The newly proposed bill will amend Section 3 of the 1923 Legal Transactions Act that allows the legislation of transactions which occur in non-registered businesses or other entities like single persons if the parties delivered accurate documentation to the final authority. Create a legal loophole for prostitution. The Human Dignity Bill will protect common decency and prevent a violation of moral principles that occur in the act of prostitution by making it an illegal offense in which perpetrators are punishable by law. I guess I have to sign that. We are a lawmaker. Apparently, we've got a new achievement. Team. No more prostitution! It's not allowed. And what do we have here? Discussion on the current internal affairs. Yeah. Thirty-eight and twenty-one wounded. There's no excuse for it, but I will make sure nothing like this ever happens again. Is it that after Circus murder too? This is your last chance. Get up immediately, bowed, and left the room with quick steps. Everything is going bad in our country. Everything is going bad. Yeah, six officers are beaten. <laughs> Falkland blockades Helgeland. here. Room work plane warrant inside airspace. Ooh. So many bad things are happening. Uh, political youth group. The option to fund a political youth group is presented. Good service to extend our ideological reach and even boost our election efforts. The presidency would pr uh, privately f funnel funding to the youth in exchange for loyalty and support to the administration. We can fund the red youth and we can fund the young swords. And we are not going to fund those groups. They killed each other. Uh, 
Uh, Fair Luxury Tax Act. This proposes an amendment to section uh, 6, right? The tax code uh, to improve the fairness of the taxation system and increase tax revenue. Section 1 sets a 50% tax rate. Will be imposed on items on the luxury goods class determined by the Ministry of Economy. This encompasses jewelry, furs, sports cars, yachts, private planes. Section 2 of the amendment will establish 10% estate tax. Uh, we are going to sign this. We get two government budget. We are in the plus again. Can you believe it? This bold choice seeks to impose a tax hike on personal items. Yeah, but the oligarchs are gonna gonna threaten me again, so. And the alcohol tax act. Remember, this already went through the Grand National Assembly, so who am I to veto this? The majority of, of our house already voted for this act. So I have to agree. Now we have two budgets. Yes, we are taxing the booze, just like they do in Denmark. Ever been in Denmark? You have to big, bring a big wallet if you want to drink beer there. I'm never going there again. So their taxation on alcohol uh, uh, makes people not go to Denmark for holidays. That's the result, Denmark. It's your own fault. Uh, news. Yeah. It's only 20% of the alcohol. I mean... Wow. We have an emergency call, an escalating situation. Oh, really? I don't like the music. <sighs> this way to the car, please. War room. War room? The dimly lit room was, was filled with cutting-edge equipment. The latest video screens, long-range radio electronics and other devices used for communication. Are we going to war? Oh my god. They are all here. Going to war wouldn't help anyone. We are not going to trigger the war. They are testing. You must respond immediately to what? Uh, provide your report. Approximately 20 minutes ago, Rubberg downed one of our planes with anti-aircraft fire from the ground. The pilot was declared... ...killed in accident? I think. Kia. That's why you never drive a Kia, I guess. Oh, that's a funny joke. Need to I need to uh, I need to remember that one. The last recorded position to plane was inside Swedish so airspace. Oh, so you're driving a killed in action car? Oh, <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, the case we're sure it happened within our borders. No offense taken, Toyota. <laughs> Toyota. No offense taken, here are the locations on the map and the report from the airbase. Want your question? Yes, we are absolutely sure. You can see here on the map that the plane was downed approximately 10 kilometers inside our borders. We have calculated the trajectory of the gunfire and they started firing when our plane was within our borders. The plane was downed near Hulken. This is terrible, what should we do? We need to open direct channels to start an official investigation. Most importantly, we need to remain calm. We must maintain peace. I agree. They are trying to lure us into their trap. And I agree with that. They are tr trying to make us look like the aggressor. We have enough military power to contest against this violation of internal law. 9 or 9, that's what we need to be. We can't look weak. If we appear weak, they will jump on the opportunity. I agree. 
Your army is ready to do whatever it takes to protect Swordland. And on the other hand, if we are going to war, maybe we can unite the country again. <laughs> oh, this game is so bad for your mental health. I can maybe remain president now. One. Start the Swordish war machine and prepare to invade Rumburg. They will pay for their crimes. Two. An eye for an eye. We will retaliate with equal force to display our strength. Swordland can't afford to look weak. But we are weak. Three. We will approach this diplomatically and try to de-escalate the situation by any means. No one wants war and I have to click on three. Thank you, sir. I will immediately begin working on it. With Mr. Whiskey's capabilities, I'm sure that we will de-escalate the situation successfully. We keep your updates. You, you, we should have retaliated. I hope the diplomatic response makes sure that further incidents like this are prevented. We are showing weakness. But it will be war next time around. I'm frankly disappointed, Mr. President. If we can't retaliate after such an attack, what will become of this country in the future? We are not the ones that are attacking the peace. Regardless, it looks like a decision has been made, Mr. President. I know when I am not needed. I will take my leave. Before he left the room, he saluted. Well, now that we know the way forward, I have an idea, Mr. President. I think we should hold a military parade to display our strength. I am with Mr. Lancy on this one. We should work well as a deterrent and it will come in handy as a tool to de-escalate the situation. That's a good idea. Simple and effective without causing any rookus. Yeah, I think we're going to do a military parade. Or we need to create a peaceful image for Sortland. Let's do the parade. I couldn't sleep that night. No, he's <laughs> he's never sleeping. <laughs> he is never sleeping. <laughs> we are never sleeping. We are not... We, we can't. After all these things. Yeah. We will be holding a military parade. The news. Yeah, that's about the airplane shot down. Well, let's see what happens with uh, with the situation. Uh, what do we have here? An ur oh, we have another urgent meeting. How beautiful! Oh, potential alliances. What is going on? With the political ram ramifications, I wanted everyone to be pre present for this meeting. We have received an envoy from United Contana. They are requesting a state visit. We are going to join the communists. <laughs> I won't negotiate with communists. There's a lot we could gain from this visit. With all due respect. Are you out of your mind? Mr. Lancia? Let him continue. This madness, we can't even consider accepting this. I bet he will come asking us for cooperation under the guise of enforcing the demands to join the CSP. This will antagonize half of the world against us, and we are going to be at the forefront of the battle. If you're approaching this form, from the perspective of national defense, then don't. We are in a better shape than we were ever before. I assure you, we don't need out any outside help. Definitely not from Leon Malenyev. We'll make, we will make do somehow. Let's see what he wants first. I will decide when I talk to him. 
Yes. We need to be careful. Uh, yeah. What should take on this? What should we do? Yeah, one misstep or misclick, and the whole world might be engulfed in chaos. I'm afraid it might not be possible to stay neutral. Triple composition is simply too important. Soon we will have to take a side. If we don't pick a side, we may end up right in the middle of a potential conflict. I'm of the opinion that this is an opportunity that we can't miss. It all boils down to your decision. But I, I say we should at least listen to what Leon has to say. Lucia, what do you think? You are the one to very well accept their offer. All the other countries that are uh, with the America of this game are going, going to be against us. But we do have an alliance with Volksland, and Volksland is also part of the CSP. It's the Soviet Union. I think I have to align myself with the Soviet Union to protect myself against the Roomburg. I think I have no other option. I'm gonna do it. I should we welcome their delegation. Make it as extravagant as you can, we need to impress them. 2. A military welcome is in order, they need to see our might. 3. A plain welcome will su suffice, they are the ones who are requesting this. Yes. As we dispersed, the world map hanging on the wall in the room caught my attention, I walked over to it. How often were the lines of the world map redrawn in the recent decades? What about the future? Oh god. Oh god. Are we now member of the... Don't know yet. There he is. Malenyev. Malenyev, so Stalin is visiting us. Oh god. Smiling and waving. Most powerful man of the world. Can I shoot him now? Really good to see you. Welcome to Swordland. How was your flight? Um, Rome Palace statues painted in various ornaments filled both sides of the corridor. What a what a palace! Was he the one, the original owner of this this place? Yes, it was built as his summer residence. As far as I know, he didn't use it much. It was solo transformed, this place. I don't know, just a statue to me. This is too much to read. Um, let's do one.
I have no idea. You should ask the man, the man himself. Well, I think he couldn't remove the whole history just like that. He still needed a past that made him all around. Since you, Leon. Can we go someplace where we can hear each other better? Yes. Very nice of you to throw a party for me, but I'm slightly tired of the long journey over the ocean. Uh, yes. Time is a funny concept, isn't it? You cannot feel it in the moment, only realize later that your life passed you by. And one day you look in the mirror and see an old man. Uh, well, so far, you had a very full life. When I look at you, I don't see an old man. Take a sip for my class. You see, Mr. Rain, I've, I've seen many presidents and world leaders change during my lifetime. I've seen top government civil wars and war crimes against imperialism and the capitalist bureaucracies that took its place. Look at the world today and think, it has changed so much since I joined the Rotskis. So you're revolutionary. We need proper international cooperation to tackle these problems. Precisely. That's where the CSP comes in. But before we talk about that, could you help me? Can we talk somewhere a little less damp? I need some fresh air. Let's follow. Plains lies the Marquian Sea, and in the middle of it, a small island. Small, but very important. Oxland needs all the support we can give to break back peace to the island. We can't let our allies stand alone. There we go. It is unacceptable to see the Valkyrie locals of the island being destroyed by the anti valkyrie regime. All of this is happening because Valkyrie joined the CSP. I don't want to interfere with the matters between the Valkland and Agnolia. What is the time to take aside a scum, Mr. Rain? It should have been right if it was just a problem between two countries. But it isn't. Not only it affects the whole region, now Arcasia is involved as well. Wherever they are Valks, Agnolians, or Contenants, or being killed doesn't matter. In the end, people are dying, and for no reason other than political aims for their governments. Do you think Arcasia is behind this? You know we formed the CSP in action to the ATO. Impressive. Uh. ATO same says the same about the CSP. Uh, 
will you stand with us against the threat of Rubework? Yeah. Of course, Rubework is a threat to Markopia. Surely they are being pushed by the Western powers to create instability. Uh, they attack you, and if any conflict occurs nonetheless, you will have the entire support. I promise you, their queen will no longer meddle in Swordland, nor Eastern Markopia. Uh, what does the CSP offer for Swordland? Security. First of all, it's a defensive pact. You will have the backing of the entire Beauty power. Does supply the nation with military technology and assets, as well as financial aid when it's needed. Let us supply each other with their resources and goods. Uh, what do you expect in return? You must accept our doctrines and work towards the goals of the pact to further the power against the ATO. You will not import any technology from Margazia nor export natural resources to them. Finally, we want you to allow us to build a missile defense system in Duru Island. It should protect both Shortland and the CSP from the threat of the ATO. <laughs> oh, where is this going? I'm gonna do it. I wanna know what's gonna happen when I actually do this pact. I'm gonna do it. We are united against capitalism. I got a steam achievement. <laughs> I let him back inside. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Yeah, accepted. Shortland will join CSP. Yep, we are now joining. Oof. What's gonna happen now? Uh, I'm gonna take a small break. I will be back in uh, 5 to 10 minutes, I think. Let me write down the time, actually, for the videos. Oh. See you in...